What's the most mind-blowing scientific fact you know? The T-Rex lived like 60 m years ago. The Stegosaurus lived 80 m years before that. Time is crazy. The guy who tried to figure out the age of the Earth was trying to properly calibrate his technique before collecting meteorite samples from Diablo Canyon. He kept getting more lead in his results than he expected. He eventually had to order new lab equipment because basically everything had lead in it. The scientist, Claire Cameron Patterson, not only figured out the age of the Earth, he also figured out leaded gasoline was contaminating everything with lead. Sharks are older than trees. Every naturally occurring element on Earth that is denser than iron came from the final throes of a collapsing star. Eclipses are a complete anomaly. The Sun is roughly 400x bigger in diameter than the Moon, and it's also roughly 400x further away. That's why they look about the same size from our perspective. But there's no real reason for those numbers to line up like that. Just a random happenstance. Additionally, the orbit of the Moon is slightly off kilter. Just a few degrees, which means that things only line up for an eclipse every couple of years or more. If the orbital planes were perfectly aligned, we'd get an eclipse once a month and it would be as special as a full moon dot. When you look up at the night sky, the photons from some of those stars have been traveling through space before the Earth was formed only to end their journey in your eyeball. There's a type of plant that mimics whatever plants it's growing next to like a goddamn cuttlefish, and they put it next to a fake plant that doesn't look like any real plant, and it mimicked the fucking fake plant. In cosmology, there is a certain factor in the equations of the universe known as W. Right now, we believe that W equals 1, but if it's less than minus 1, things could go very, very wrong with no warning. The vacuum of space we now perceive could actually be a false vacuum. And if a bubble of true vacuum suddenly appeared, and there's nothing to stop that from happening then all matter would instantly fall apart inside that bubble which expands outwards at the speed of light. So if it happened elsewhere, even a billion years ago and a billion light years away, we could never see it coming. In an instant, we would just wink out of existence. So, you know sleep tight. You are a superorganism because your body is an ecosystem. It is home to trillions of microbes that form communities in different places in and on your body. Together these communities make up your microbiome. These together make sure you keep living because you die, they die. Almost all of your mass comes from the back reaction of quarks and gluons not the intrinsic mass of the quarks, so if you weigh 160 pounds, then a fair 150 pounds comes from QCD. When two particles become entangled, their properties are correlated in such a way that the state of one particle instantaneously influences the state of the other, regardless of the distance between them. Time is affected by gravity. Xenon can bond with fluorine to form a compound. It honestly blew my mind when I learned about it. There's different sizes better known as cardinalities of infinity. The smallest known one is countable, which is defined by anything that can be mapped to the positive integers what's the first number or element of the set, second element, third, etc. The sets of, all positive integers, all positive and negative together, all, even integers, and all rational numbers are all countable, even though some clearly have more elements than others. From there, we have uncountable they may all be called uncountable from here, I forget. Examples of sets of uncountable cardinality are all irrational and all real or complex which includes the imaginary number i numbers. Dot. But you can go higher. The easiest example of this is to take the set of all subsets of the aforementioned set of real numbers. This is called the power set. You can continue to take the power set of an infinite set and create a countable infinity number of infinities. This is what I learned over a decade ago. So I don't know if further research has been done on the topic. One mind-blowing fact is that the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate, driven by a mysterious force called dark energy, which makes up about 70 of the universe's energy content. This discovery challenges our understanding of fundamental physics and the ultimate fate of the cosmos. A Google is a number that is a one with a 100 zeros. Might not seem like a lot when on paper, but that is a significantly higher number than all the estimated atoms in the entire universe. The double slit experiment, leading to quantum entanglement. The twin photon manipulation at any distance. Any distance. ATP synthase complex, which makes ATP chemical energy in living organisms, runs in almost the exact same step by step process as a hydroelectric dam producing electrical energy. Even the mechanical parts involved are the same the stator and rotor. Dot, but ATP SC is more efficient. Dot. If you see Earth through a telescope in space from a faraway region, you will see the dinosaur era. Science is not yet able to mechanically reconstruct spider silk. We don't know the right mixture of proteins yet. There are attempts, but we're far from having it produced in a meaningful industrialized way. 
we are closer to the biggest thing in the universe the universe itself than we are to the smallest thing in the universe the Planck distance. Sounds affect the cells in your body. Men's balls are always moving. The water molecules in your eyes and mouth would boil in the vacuum of space. There is a medical condition called citus inverses where all of your internal organs are reversed right to left from their normal positions, but otherwise function normally. X your heart is on your right.